Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will see how data flows in ELK application. We will discuss few huge cases to understand the data flows. So let's begin our session. So this is the first huge case diagram. In this diagram, you can see the log test, which is reading the data from the log file. It is reading the data from the multiple log file and it is sending the data to the Elasticsearch for the storage purpose. Elasticsearch stores the data in the index and we are using the Kiwana to visualize the data present in the Elasticsearch. So this is the flow. The left side is the source. Source is the log file. Log is test. Then to the Elasticsearch and Kiwana. So this is the simplest huge case of the ELK. Now let's see the next one. So in this second huge case, in this diagram, you can see the left side, the log file. So source is the data source is the log and we are using the file width. So here file width we are using to collect the data from the source from the log file. In the first application, log test was being used as a data collector as well as the data parser, data processor. But in this huge case, file wheat is being used as a data collector or data shipper, which is getting the data from the or reading the data from the log file and sending it to the log test. And in this huge case, log test is being used as a data parser or data processor. And log test is sending the data to the Elasticsearch where it is getting stored and Kivana is being used to visualize the data stored in the elastic search. So this is the second huge case data flow. So here the source is log file, file bit is a data shipper, log is as a data processor and elastic search as a storage unit and Kivana for the visualization. So the only difference between the first and the second is file bit and the rest of the things are same. Let's move on to the third huge case. So this is the diagram of third huge case here. We are again, we are reading the data from the log file with the help of file beat and and file beat is sending data to the Kafka or MQ and the log test is reading data from the Kafka and it is sending to the Elasticsearch and Kivana is being used as a visualizer. So the here the difference is of Kafka. So here we are using Kafka as a buffer. So normally Kafka use when we have a data huge data inflow. We have a huge number of events. In this huge case we have the addition is Kafka. So we can use any other uh, event processing platform also. How data flowing the left side the source which is the log file file beat is reading from the source from the log file it is sending to the Kafka and Kafka is working as buffer log test is reading the data from the Kafka and log test sending data to the Elasticsearch for the storage and Kivana is being used as a visualizer so this is the data flow in particular huge case so there could be a number of uh, huge case of this ELK. Now you should have understanding of how data flows in the ELK application. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.